Hey guys, recently I hit my 5,000th view. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of my subscribers and everyone who watches my videos. Here's to another 5,000. Anyway, since it's such a special occasion, I'm going to show you how to get completely portable software. I know I, know I did a video on this subject before, but pretty recently I've just realised that if you use this method and then try to use the software on another computer, 9 times out of 10 the program will crash, since the registry keys aren't saved on the stick. Luckily I did find a perfectly simple program called Portable Apps that resolves this problem completely, so you can have truly portable software. Here's how to get it. First off you'll have to download the installation package from the Portable Apps website, I'll include a link in the description, uh, and then double click it. Then click Run. You don't require any administrative privileges or anything to install it since it's not changing any of the system. Then click I agree. Uh, if you haven't done so already, plug in your USB stick and then click install. Since I've already got portable apps installed on this, it's going to upgrade it. But yours won't look exactly the same as this. Uh, this will take a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to pause the video and then come back once it's finished. Okay, once it's done, all you need to do is click finish, and then the unit interface will come up. And then the portable app directory will come up while it's checking for applications. And if it doesn't find any, it will bring up the it will bring up the install app screen. This will also take a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna have to, I'll pause the video and then come back once it's done. Okay, now that's come up. Uh, this is the download new portable app screen. And uh, just have a scroll around and see if there's any you like. Some are pretty good and very useful and some are just a whole lot of crap. Uh, but if you're stuck for ideas, I would recommend downloading your favourite browser, mine's Google Chrome, and then downloading Skype Portable so that you can use these on your school computer and then uh, and then you can do whatever the heck you like without administrative privileges or being bothered by proxies or anything like that. So once you've chosen the ones you want, click Next and then they'll start installing. Now you can install as many apps as you like, but be wary of the size of a USB stick. Thankfully most of the programs will have an, an install size in it, so you can easily check which ones, how, how much you've, space you've got left. I'm going to have to pause this again while this is installing. Now I'll come back once it's done. Okay, that's then downloaded and installed. So once that's done you click OK, and then you can go back to use our interface and then select the program you want from the list and then it can be used as normal. Now let, let's start from the beginning and show you how you access these from another computer. What you do is you plug in your USB stick, pretty obviously, and then go to start computer or my computer, choose your USB stick and then click double click start.exe and then that's you into the user interface. Uh, the two more things, um, Occasionally, updates will appear for your uh, software once you plug it in. Uh, just click download and install for them. But just be wary, if you're on your school computer, the, the site that's downloaded, that uh, the updates are stored on, SourceForge is normally blocked by most things, so you'd better make sure you're on your home computer before you try it. And uh, the last thing, if you're unhappy with the way the user interface looks, all you need to do is go to Options, Themes, and you can change the colour. I'm going to go for blue, and then you can choose uh, what kind of user interface you'd like. I'm going to go for modern light, and then you've got that there. Okay then, and that's it for my 20th video and my 5,000 viewer special. Thank you very much to everyone who's helped me get this far, and please continue to comment, rate, and subscribe.